Hello guys, this is Dustin McGee with EcoFeels Online. And today I want to talk to you guys about this newest system that we have out. And it is the water pump cell. And the purpose of this, or the benefit of this design is the fact that the reservoir can actually be wherever you want it to be. It does not have to be above the cell like previous designs. It can be under the cell, it can be over the cell, it can be the same height as the cell. And as you can see, it is sitting pretty much under the, the cell here. <clears throat> I've had really good um, benefits with the cell. It's really it's easy to install. It works really good. As you can see, I really don't have much room as far as the whole car put anything. So that's this is a really good design for this for close proximate areas. So let's go on for a closer look. Basically the water reservoir is here. And it sucks water from underneath. Right here. Flows through water pumps down here. Small water pump. Goes up through here, comes through the cell, back down, and back into the reservoir. And the water pump is guaranteed to last 60,000 miles to 100,000 miles. It, I mean, it's a really durable water pump. It can withstand a lot of heat. And one of the really key benefits with this, with the water pump flowing like it is, is it's actually pushing all of the HHO bubbles off the plates. Sometimes the the uh, sometimes the HHO will sit in between these plates here and not go anywhere. Where with this design, you're forcing water through the whole cell, and nothing is really sitting there at all. It's all just flowing really quickly and getting off off the plates. It's really efficient. It's 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 giving me really good benefits. Um, right now, this car is getting about 45 miles per gallon. This is a 2012 Honda Civic. Uh, maximum gas mileage this thing would get advertised is 38, 38 to 39 miles per gallon. And like I said, I'm getting 45 miles per gallon, and that's 45 highway in about 30, 36, 37 um, in city. Okay, right here I have this, the newest design of the PLX engine monitoring system. And it's basically like a, a dyno tune technology. If you ever taking your car to a dyno and getting it dyno tune, meaning it, it pretty much pretty much monitors your whole engine, every everything your ECU can possibly tell you it's going to tell this device and it actually is for iPad. Um, they have iPad, Android, they have all kind of different designs out there. I have the iPad Wi-Fi one and so far I really like it. I've had it for about six months. Um, it's done really good. It's pretty accurate. Um, maybe there's kind of a glare on the screen right now, but right now I'm at 700 and, you know, whatever RPM, it's about something between <coughs> zero miles an hour. And if you go here, now this is a calculation, I was driving around in the city for a little while, so my calculations were down just a little bit, but... As you can see, it's 42.8 average miles per gallon. Like I said, I was driving around in city, so it kind of dropped a little bit. Um, and I used this thing to calculate the miles per gallon, and I also calculated at the pump, and it works out to be 45 miles per gallon. So this thing is pretty accurate. I think it's like one, maybe maybe a half a mile off or something. It's it's not it's not far off at all. It's pretty accurate. 
and <clears throat> let's go into the engine. My car's been running for like a half an hour, and my intake's at 86 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, coolant is at 189 degrees Fahrenheit, and you can switch through here and switch a whole bunch of things, ambient temperature. 589 degrees Fahrenheit. <coughs> right now it has a uh, air to fuel ratio. As you can see, the air to fuel ratio is 14.7.61. So it's in a lean kind of. In between lean and rich. It's not too rich, not too lean. It's pretty much perfect. And let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much this. And I mean, it tells me everything. It's been really accurate. I don't really want to get into a review on it because you know, I want to talk more about this design. This HHO cell. And there's one thing I forgot to mention about this this design and this whole kit here. It will be shipped with a um, DC motor speed controller, which basically means you can control the amount of water that your cell needs. You can slow the, the, the rate of flow down on the water. You can give the cell as much as water as you want, or as little as water as you want. And we'll go turn the car off, and everything will shut off as soon as the car turns off. Yeah, it does shut completely off. There's nothing running right now. Everything has a relay to it. So as soon as the car kicks off, everything kicks off. But yeah, that is our HHO dry cell water pump design. Um, it is really beneficial, more efficient, really easy to install. If you're looking for a close proximate install like this, and this is definitely ideal. So yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, please send me an email, post a comment down below, or give me a call.